Our next speaker is uh, Yanqing Wang. Dr. Wang, he's the founder and CEO of Scopia Media, and then he's also the founder of Scopia AI company founded in Vancouver. Scopia Media has an office in China and Europe, focuses exclusively on AI computing vision technologies to better understand the image and videos. I was on the same table uh, during lunch with Dr. Wang. He was so passionate about AI technologies. That's welcome him on the stage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, my name is Yan Qing Wang. Uh, just call me Yan. Um, I first just introduce myself a little bit. But the topic I'm talking about the fusion of the AI and the blockchain. Uh, but uh, uh, trust me, I'm not put the two bubble together, become a bigger bubble, right? So, um, so. Um, uh, myself, I did my PhD research actually on human intelligence. So more precisely, is the psychology of uh, uh, human-computer interaction. Uh, I study perception, uh, cognition, and uh, then I founded a company called Scope Media in 2013. Uh, it's a natural progress to learn how machine uh, to be uh, intelligent. And uh, actually, uh, two years ago, we realized uh, uh, this AI had to be decentralized. And then we did a feasibility study from then. And we got a breakthrough uh, eight months ago. And we got a patent uh, filed. So now I can uh, talk. Uh, so uh, a lot of uh, 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 bots and also a lot of uh, uh, chain actually uh, there already. It's called the AI chain, and uh, but uh, all of them uh, are good. And uh, but it's basically solved uh, the problem is the marketplace and the data exchange um, for the data for computing power uh, for models. And recently, there are some for the uh, model training uh, 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 blockchain. So, but that's. Um, not what uh, uh, we want, it's not our uh, uh, envisioned. So uh, what we want to do is uh, really do the fusion. So the idea is uh, very simple. The, the whole is greater than the sum of its part. So basically three uh, sentences just describe that. So um, blockchain make AI better, AI make blockchain better. And uh, also together, uh, the make uh, uh, easier to solve the real world problem. And uh, so that's the, that's the goal, and it takes us a uh, while uh, to carry it out. Um, so basically blockchain uh, is a network, right? It's the best neural network is from the human brain. So uh, that's why they call neural network. Um, while you notice that it's the human brain, they have two things very important. Uh, one is called the mapping of the human brain. Uh, and that's the scientific uh, fact, right? Uh, another thing is called uh, permanent memory and uh, working memory, right? This memory uh, is not physical, it's uh, just working, uh, it's uh, functional. Uh, so, but we translate to today's blockchain term. You can see it's very correlated to sharding and the layer. Uh, it's almost identical to that. <clears throat> so, um, Based on that, we can learn to make both sides. Uh, so um, we have a, a new approach uh, for the AI plus uh, blockchain. Uh, we realize it's, not al it's almost not possible to just approach from uh, one side, because at this stage of AI, this stage of block blockchain, everything is a little bit too heavy. Right? We make things have to make things uh, very small. So from AI side, um, uh, our company specializes on the AI side so far. So we have a real business. But during this process, we actually focus on the edge computing that makes things smaller and faster and uh, in, in, in a uh, uh, very, very simpler. So that, that's the focus of our company. So from AI side, the first thing called crystallization uh, uh, on AI features. Basically, make the description of the features very, very small. 
Uh, second, you make the models small, compressing the model. The third one, of course, you can encrypt uh, the data and um, uh, to keep the privacy. But this encryption used to be very, very uh, slow. Uh, now we can get better on that, make it really, really practical. This is from AI side, okay? Uh, and then the flow from blockchain side is very interesting. And then we find that actually, once we got AI, we actually can use AI to inf the, uh, improve the blockchains, right? Uh, the, so the first one uh, we put, uh, we call the uh, intelligence on-chain. The current uh, AI plus blockchain, basically the AI part is one layer uh, that not the intrinsically connect to the uh, blockchain. Um, another part we call the AI sharding. So basically we use AI as a tool to improve the blockchain. Um, and uh, also you notice, learn from uh, human neural network, we can have a, a function a layer of the blockchain. <clears throat> so the things look like this. Um, you have three layers, of course, uh, on the top, uh, on the bottom, you have a, a blockchain, uh, or distributed ledger, or uh, DAG. And uh, in the middle, you have a AI protocol. Uh, on top, of course, you have an application. Uh, we call the I app. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, Apple apparently or not, but. Uh, it's an uh, uh, intelligent uh, application. So, but you notice the difference is uh, we are not separate these three layers. They are actually, um, there is something in common. Uh, on the bottom we call the uh, AI feature crystallization on chain, okay. And uh, on top is the AI network. And the next, you use the analogy for the human brain works. The top one, like a working uh, memory, is temporal, it's fast. It's only process certain things in certain area. And on the bob, uh, bottom is the permanent memory. It's, uh, it's a counting book, it's a ledger, right? So something is more for long term and you cannot change with all the uh, characteristics of the blockchain. So that, that that's, that's uh, itself you will improve uh, the, 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 the scalability of the blockchain. <coughs> So I will not get uh, to, into a detail, but uh, um, we, can, uh, we can have a private discussion later. Uh, but the, the thing is, uh, now we have an uh, intelligent blockchain. It's true intelligent blockchain is not a, a, some kind of layer uh, add-on to the blockchain. Uh, the difference now, the blockchain, no matter how you talk about it, as uh, Professor Zhang said, it's network. Right, so any net, this is network, once you add the AI, it's different. It have a self-awareness, right? Uh, we reluctant to use a word like self-conscious because it's freak out a lot of people. If you see, you have a chain have a self-conscious, but actually the, the key is, is understand the content, uh, what this network is carrying. Because of that, you can have a second effect. Because you know what you're carrying, what's the function, what's going on, then you actually can shard in this, uh, uh, the node uh, by the AI we call cognition. Uh, now it's different from the current method you are using, okay? Um, now, what's the advantage of the, this fusion compared with just add two things together, right? Um, the, the, the number one, as we promised, so blockchain makes AI better. So, but on the top, is, it looks the word we call the centralized intelligent on decentralized platform. Because with this, we can have a collective intelligence, not only distributed, but we can have a collective. Why we have a meeting today? Because we want to have collective intelligence. Individual intelligence, you're already in your brain. You don't have to come for the meeting, right? But the current blockchain uh, plus AI have this uh, uh, shortcoming uh, is not really integrated. Uh, so I, th I think the first one is uh, make AI much, much better. You know the holy grail of the AI is the, the uh, artificial general uh, intelligence, AGI, right? But uh, we haven't seen really solid stop, uh, step to going there. But I think this is very close to the first step. We really can move to that direction. And, and second, uh, the scalability of the blockchain is a big deal, but they all take a different approach. We take approach from AI. Use AI to improve the scalability, okay? 
So that's the second one. And together, uh, I said that we make uh, real solve real world problem, uh, make the uh, things better to solve real problem. How? The first one, we want to make this um, uh, AI component it's very, very easy. So if you develop any uh, application software or platform, I want to make the, your AI part the easiest part in your uh, programming, uh, uh, in your development. Because you just hook up this uh, 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 scope X, it should work, uh, maybe less than 10 lines of code, something like that. And uh, because that's uh, also you uh, speed up the industry adoption of the AI, because it's so easy. Like we have this meeting, we have this uh, conference, there's no AI uh, prog uh, component in this uh, programming or software. The reason it's not, it's not helpful is the reason it's so difficult to implement it. So we make things very easier uh, for, for that part. So that's our goal, just to make things so easier. <clears throat> so this is the, our company has been well for five years. So we really have client, have application. We focus on the fashion retail industry. So this is an example um, we collect from social media a million of, uh, a million of uh, data. Then we extract the fashion uh, uh, features and then we analyze to see what is fashionable, okay? So what's the, uh, what is trending? So I want to point out is all those data are actually from individual user in your camera roll, but you didn't make any money, right? Instagram make money, Twitter you make money, but blockchain will make you back, actually make you uh, monetize on it. But also you notice, this is the map, uh, the, you can see the, uh, different areas, very, very close to the human uh, brain mapping. <clears throat> and uh, this one, we actually use the machine called Scope uh, uh, Robot, actually design clothes, okay? This is the woman uh, dress, doesn't exist, you cannot buy it, but um, uh, once uh, you click on this, then you can send it to the designer to buy the all kind of design, okay? So this one, uh, we design in three hours, 40,000 different style, definitely have one style fit you, right? But this kind of, how do we sell it? How individual get this to, uh, style? It's very, very hard to do this uh, in a uh, centralized fashion. And uh, blockchain is a really solution for that. And the last slide, we actually do have a demo. So uh, you can go to our booth to see. Uh, we, the demo is about video search. It's a search engine. So you can input a, a photo or even segment of video, and then you can search the similar video or photos on the blockchain. And uh, we do write code before writing the, the white paper. Okay, so, uh, or you want to talk to me, I will be around, and uh, uh, we can talk uh, after conference, in the conference, and thank you.